everybody, I'm Jacob from Status Update. This is my app drawer app of the week. It is called Alarm Clock Extreme Free. And if you're like me and the stock Android uh, alarm clock just doesn't do it uh, for you and you're oversleeping your alarm like crazy, this is a fantastic app to have to fix that very problem. Uh, I've basically this week had some issues with just oversleeping my alarm a little bit. This kind of solves it. Uh, what I would do is I would wake up, turn off my alarm, and fall back asleep. This has a couple ways to avoid that. This is the main interface right here, so you can go ahead. These are all my alarms. You can check them, uncheck them to have them set or not. I usually just set up my interface for all my alarms, and then they just go off whenever they need to go. Real simple to add an alarm. You just click the plus button down there, and here's your interface to add it. You can select what time you want to wake up. So let's wake up at 8.36. I like to pick some weird times, and we'll click set there. We can have it repeat any day of the week. We'll repeat it on Fridays and Thursdays. There we are. We can give it a label, so we can call it uh, my weird alarm, uh, and there's that. And we can pick our sound type. It can be a ringtone. It can be just silent, which would do you pretty much no good. Uh, you can pick music. You can do a random song by artist or a random song by playlist, or you can just launch an application. So this is really cool. Gives you a lot of options to wake up if you want to launch a music application. Um, you could uh, launch like RDO or Spotify and have it play music right away. Or you, if you have music on your phone, you can just do a random song by playlist or artist or just any kind of music in general and it'll just play music. I like to just keep it on ringtone, but you can do a bunch of different options. And you can select the ringtone you want. I'll just keep it on default. You can have it vibrate as well. Do volume crescendo so it'll increasingly get louder and you can pick how loud it'll max out at. I like 100%. This is where it gets kind of fun. You can do a snooze method, so you can have it snooze by a couple different options like shaking the device or solving a math problem. Um, I don't use snooze, but what my problem is is to dismiss it, I'll dismiss it and then go back to sleep. This way, I can't dismiss it by solving a math problem. And then you can pick what level difficulty of math problem you want. So I'm going to pick hardest, and it, it's really hard, so actually I don't recommend hardest. I pick medium just to give you some idea. And then you can just select, I want anywhere between 1 and 10 correct answers for a math problem to be able to actually turn the alarm off. I'm going to pick 1. You can do some advanced settings in here, a lot of different uh, nitpicky options in terms of time to max volume, um, in-call alarm behavior, so if you're in a call, you know, you don't want it to go off, auto snooze, all these different things. I like to keep it easy. So I'm going to click save, and then I'm going to show you what this would look like. So here's my weird alarm, and I'm going to long press it, and then you can click preview so this is what my alarm will look like to wake up to and it's gonna say instead of dismiss solve math problems so it's gonna give me a math problem as you'll see my math problem is 61 plus 23 which is not a difficult problem but it's not something that's gonna easily come to your head in order to wake up now if this does get irritating where the noise is just absurd you can click this button to stop the alarm from going off now you still can't dismiss it until you've solved the problem so we'll keep the, the music uh, off and we'll do 61 plus 23, which is 84. And there you go. Submit. And now you can click Dismiss at the bottom here to turn your alarm off. And now you're into your phone. So that's just a fun little app, I think, and then uh, to keep alarms better. It does uh, give you a little notification up here. As you can see, if you ever have an alarm set, your notification is going to be in that notifications pane. That's going to bother you if you like to keep your notifications pane clean. You go into the main alarm. You click the settings button down here. This is going to give you all your look and feel. If you go into look and feel, uh, it's going to say notification, enable notification. You turn that off, that's going to go away. You can even change the icon if that bothers you uh, to something a little easier for you, or you can just turn it off altogether. But that is Alarm Clock Extreme Free. It is a free app. It does have a paid version. Uh, the only thing the paid version does, though, is uh, get rid of this ad at the bottom. You see where I says I love coupons. You can get rid of that by paying for it. It's a pretty cheap app in the App Store. It's my recommendation if you don't like the Alarm Clock install on Android and you have to wake up in the morning. It's Alarm Clock Extreme Free, available in the Android App Store.